In this video, we will demonstrate how to enter an arrival procedure into a flight plan using the AeroView Integrated Flight Deck. We will also discuss how to enter or modify an approach and landing runway. When part of the ATC clearance involves an arrival procedure, it should be entered when creating the flight plan prior to departure. There are several ways to select the arrival for the destination airport. One option is to use the join prompt on the waypoint list and select arrival. Another option is to click on the runway approach star button in the landing window. The change can also be made graphically on the iNav map. Click on the arrival airport and select departure arrival. The runway, approach, and arrival procedure can be selected in any order. The approach and landing runway is normally not known prior to departure. To accommodate this, an arrival procedure can be entered without an approach and landing runway. Select the arrival and transition if applicable. Insert and activate the changes. Then review the flight plan. To change the arrival, go to the departure arrival window and deselect the current procedure. Once the arrival is deselected, all the available arrivals for the airport will be displayed. Select the new arrival procedure and transition. To enter the approach and landing runway, access the departure arrival window for the destination airport. Select the expected runway. This will narrow down the approach options. Then select the approach and transition and insert them into the flight plan. To change the runway, open the departure arrival window and deselect the current runway. All available runways for the arrival airport are now displayed. Select the new arrival runway. Anytime the runway is changed, a new approach procedure must be re-entered. When expecting vectors for an approach, select Vectors as the approach transition. This creates a waypoint labeled Fly Vectors to Intercept. Approximately 15 miles from the Fly Vectors to Intercept waypoint, the Activate Vectors prompt will be displayed. When ATC begins issuing vectors for the approach, switch to Heading Mode and click on the Activate Vectors prompt. A discontinuity is created any time a defined path does not exist between two waypoints. This may happen when an arrival procedure ends in a vector. Adding an arrival procedure or approach typically results in a discontinuity in the flight plan. It is caused by a lack of a common point between a procedure and the flight plan. Discontinuities associated with arrivals or approaches should be left in the active flight plan until cleared for the approach. Once cleared to do so, the discontinuity can be deleted just like any other waypoint. This has been an overview of entering arrival and approach procedures on the AeroView Integrated Flight Deck. Please refer to the Aircraft Flight Manual for more information.